Next up, the very funny man. We're looking at Joel Bartley. Ow, yeah. Shit, yeah, man. <laughs> Listen, I know what you guys are thinking. This lesbian better be funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm not mad at you. You know, I get it. Uh, I inherited this body. Uh, got my dad's stocky build. Got my mom's titties. So... <laughs> We put my great-grandma's ass back here. Well, I mean, I'm the complete package, is what I'm telling you. I'm going to try to use it to my advantage, be an optimist about it. I feel like i got a heads up in the conversation to get my fiancé to have a three-way down the road. Because i got to feel like from her to another woman, this is a smooth transition, I feel like. <laughs> Let me give you an example. Say I was fortunate enough to be having a three-way and you came in a room looking for me, you'd have a hard time pointing me out right away. You understand? You walk in, you'd be like, hey, Joel, you in here, man? Oh, nice. Nice. I don't know if he's in here. No, no, oh, no, no, it's a sloppy mess in there. I just don't know if he's a part of it, is what I'm telling you. I no, no, they all have titties, that's what I'm telling you. There's six titties in there. I counted on myself. <laughs> oh, no. No, there's a, there's a little weird penis. Went by in the back. No, it was like a frat. No, I thought it was a knuckle, too. Yeah, <laughs> went right by in the background. Yeah. Looked like an acorn in a turtleneck sweater. I saw it right in the back. <sighs> Speaking of ghosts, um... I don't believe in them, you know? I'm not afraid to say it. I think if you're seeing apparitions and Civil War colonels walking through your hallways and shit, that's your problem, okay? That's a psychosis. That's nothing. That's <laughs> you know, I, Now, don't get me wrong. I'm glad my house isn't haunted because that means I'm not a crazy person. <laughs> now, <laughs> but my mind plays tricks on me too. You know, basements are scary, right? Everybody knows that. Ten foot by ten foot room, nothing in it. If you turn the lights off, there's a murderer in there. I'm certain of it. <laughs> but I got real problems to worry about. You know? I got to worry about these toothless hillbillies in Dayton stealing my copper pipes and shit like that. <laughs> real fears. I've never been <laughs> heard something in the middle of the night and like, babe, babe, grab the baseball bat. There's a ghost in the house. <laughs> You know, in, in real estate, that is a real thing. You have to disclose if your house is haunted. I don't know when that's ever applicable in any other situation that you'd have to disclose something like that in a legal document. And I always wonder what it looks like when you're trying to show it, right? How do you sell that house? Hey, guys, all right, last stop, okay? This is the one you're really going to love. Spacious, okay, got the granite countertops, bathroom upstairs and downstairs. But I want to be upfront with you. There's two ghouls that live here. <laughs> They, they meander about, okay? Usually at nighttime. Uh, one is a uh, colonial gentleman, okay? He's headless. And uh, do not break his stride, okay? He gets aggressive. <laughs> there's, a, uh, there's a woman. She's bloody, okay? Full disclosure, she's, uh, she's covered in blood, all right? She likes to sing show tunes in the mirror. Okay? All the mirrors. All right? And I suggest you let her finish because she'll come out. Uh, but the schools are great. Oh. Oh, top notch. Top notch. Five out of five stars. They're really great. Yeah, and uh, the last family that lived here, uh, I should let you know, uh, they were uh, murdered. Um, but the police are fairly certain that that was just one of the regular murderers who did that. So take comfort in that. Let's sign the deed, huh? I don't know. 
People died since 1990. Where's a ghost in jorts and a no fear t-shirt? Where's that asshole? <laughs> you know why? Because there's nothing scary about a cassette Walkman. That's why. I'm Joe Bartley. Thank you guys very much. Appreciate it.